So my project for SPY 3J is an answer to the question, uh, can we do a continuous movement? Like, I throw a question like, how can we last or endurance a movement? Can we do that? So from that question, I start to work in different uh, fields. I work with video, with drawing, with installation, and with performance. And at the beginning, if you think in the question, you know that the answer is not. Uh, we cannot endurance a movement, or we cannot do a continuous movement, because we are uh, limited beings, because we are human beings, and we are not eternal, we are not automats. So what I try to do is to uh, just uh, put a resistance to that is, okay, we, are, we have this tendency, natural tendency to fall down. And that, is, that idea is very attractive to me. So it's like, what happened with these seconds before the falling down, where we know that we are going to fall, but we resist that moment. So in that moment, there is a tension. And that tension is also a repetition and a vibration in the bodies, in the space. And I try to work with this kind of resistance of the first seconds before the falling down, that is when we are aiming to continue this, uh, we have this utopic uh, desire of continuous something or to endurance a moment. Uh, the exhibition has a part of uh, drawing, video, performance and audio, and I try to work the different fields with the same patterns. For example, the audio is based on the technique phasing from Steve Reich from the 70s, this minimalist, minimalist composer. So what I try to do is we have a structure and we are going to repeat the same structure, but later it's going to be a display of this structure, creating a melody, a different melody. This synchronization and unsynchronization is what I'm looking for because it's the thing that creates the melody and also it's like an answer and a reply and an answer. This movement is also a repetition. And the same structure is made in the visual works where is always this kind of pattern, like create a structure and later try to follow it with the time and see if we can make the same gesture in time. Can we do that? Can we try to do the same gestures? And it's all this kind of aim of perseverance of trying to achieve that goal. This project is inside the cycle of Pointless Linear Sentence, curated by Marty Manen. And uh, the idea that uh, I started to work when I was speaking with him it was the concept of time because, and the narrative of it, because inside the time, there is, uh, I'm, in my work, I use a lot the, the repetition and the loop because they are concepts that interest me very much as a, a context of my work. I always work it between these limits. So uh, when I work in this exhibition, thinking of that is like how the same thing in time can change how the same objects with the space of the time can modify the relationship with the others. So we think on that uh, in a smaller scale, for example, when we think in a uh, piece or in a work, like in a video or in an audio, how that can affect that piece, but also in a bigger scale, like how that can affect the whole room of the exhibition. How are we going to place the objects? How are we going to make them dialogue with the rhythm between them? Because there are some uh, objects that they have the rhythm uh, meanwhile the video, meanwhile some installation work. So it's how we make dialogue all these different rhythms and speech on them. There is a part in the exhibition, the performative side, that I also wanted to continue with this dynamic and continuous movement. So what I, I propose is like every Thursday during the whole exhibition time until 11th of September is open to the public to, to the public to come and give an answer to the exhibition. So anyone that wants to come and give an answer, just go to the website, register and book a time. And then uh, we start to work together in a collaboration of a possible answer to here. So depending if you are, uh, if we are working in the body, we are going in the music, we have like the same uh, base structure, like that is the whole structure I have been working on the whole show. And from here, we're going to have a different output. So it's going to be very interesting for me also to see the different output and lectures that is going to, to be of the work after the 20 or 25 performances that are going to be in the whole exhibition time.